everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Mage playthrough. We're actually going to be starting off this episode by doing a montage time lapse of me doing half an hour of mining. So I am going to go ahead and get straight to this thing. This will probably be the quickest time I've ever started a time lapse within an episode, but it doesn't matter because we need to do it. I also need to grab some Moon Glow to get ourselves a Spelunker potion. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I shall meet you guys with the results of our mining trip afterwards. And and then we will go ahead and start on the building of our mage slash wizard tower. It's going to be amazing, my friends. It really is. So I should go ahead and get on with this thing. And I shall meet you guys back once we are done. Alrighty guys, I am back, and as you can see, I just did a bunch of extractinating, or whatever the hell you want to call it, and I've got a bunch of stuff in here. I mean, just look at it all. I've got so many gems now. Half an hour of mining is really worth it. I also got three life crystals, so let's go ahead and use them, bringing us up to 240 health, which is a very, very healthy amount indeed. Now... As you can see, we have emeralds and sapphires, and a decent amount of them. If we had one more ruby, I believe we'd be able to make the ruby staff. I don't know, man. Do I want to make a ruby staff? I think it might be a cool idea, because I'm pretty sure it's, like, among the best ones in the game. That and the uh, diamond staff. These two, I'm pretty sure, are the best ones in the game you can get. But obviously, because I don't have, uh... Actually, I don't know. I've got platinum. Where's the platinum? Platinum bars? Yeah, there we go. We've got 12 of them. If I get four more diamonds, I can make a diamond staff. Ooh, Much staff, many wows. Right, okay, I'm going to go ahead and see which one gives us the most damage out of that. So we're going to go ahead and grab out the the tungsten bars. Oh, that's not tungsten. Oh, crap, I almost chucked them in the bin. There we go. <laughs> Silver bars and tungsten bars, and we are going to see what we can make, my friends. I have to go down, which means killing zombies. God damn it. All right, guys. All right, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're all good, my friend. Okay, there you go, friendo. Right, okay, g give me the worm as well. There we go. Worm's going to be useful later down the line. All right, let's see what kind of stuff we can make. Emerald staff is right there. Sapphire staff. Where's that? Oh, I haven't got enough silver bars, obviously. Hmm. Emerald staff. Right, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I'm being a bit slow on my inventory management. Okay, silver bars. Okay, have we got any more silver ore? I believe we do. There we go. Silver ore. I don't think that's going to give us enough, unfortunately. All right, let's go down there and have a look really quick, just to uh, just to make sure. All right, apparently platinum bars. Okay, and let's make ourselves some silver bars. That's what we need. All right, 11. Is that enough to make a sapphire staff? It is, but it's not as good as the emerald staff. Oh, we got ourselves an emerald staff. Let's go. Oh, 14 damage up to 19. This one uses five mana, though, so it is considerably more expensive to use. But it also does quite a lot of damage, which is pretty damn cool. Oh, we can make ourselves a first mana crystal. Yes! All right. All is good to go. Right, what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to fend off the knight. And I shall meet you guys back once we are ready to start building our, our blooming wizard tower, I guess. So, yeah, I'll see you guys once we're ready to do that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is building time, and it is very, very rare that I do building episodes in Terraria. Well, at least for proper buildings anyway, not just these little square rooms that you would tend to do if you're kind of rushing through things to try and get things, you know, 
trying to get to a certain point, like having the merchant, for example. As you can see, I kind of caught a mouse down in the underground, and now it's trapped in there. Haha! <laughs> Suck -oo. So what I did, I made a little bit of a pallet here. Now these are stone slab walls, these are stone brick walls, and these are just plain stone walls. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a center column, whereby it's going to have some rope in the middle, and the background of that is going to be this thing here. So the stone brick walls, that's going to be the background for the sort of elevator. And then for the rooms, we're going to be using stone slab walls. I mean, just look at it. It looks pretty damn cool. Looks like the kind of thing you might find in a mage's tower. Oh boy. And as you can see, we have ourselves a bunch of dynasty wood. We have 473 stone blocks. We should, I repeat, should be good to go, right? So I guess without further ado, I am doing this from nothing, I am improvising, so here we go, we're going to try and get ourselves a little bit of a design going here. We're using dynasty wood for the uh, for the flooring and the border, so this is going to be pretty interesting. Right, okay, so this is what's going to happen, I'm going to go ahead, wait, what? I can make dynasty furniture! Ooh, that's a cool thing actually, I like the sound of that. That sounds very cool indeed, right, okay, one, two, three, four, five, hold on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, seems like a reasonable number. Let's do that. Okay. So this is where the central column is going to go upwards. It's going to be a very large building, by the way, guys. It's going to be very, very large indeed. Right, okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and continue. So boom. All right, going around like so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wall? Yeah, that seems to work pretty well. You there! Please go away, I really don't need you here. As in, for real, I don't really need you. So, if you could, like, bugger off, that would be absolutely fantastic, good sir. Alright, let's go ahead and go upwards. Let's go ahead and get rid of this part over here. And this is where the ropes are going to start, like so. Alright, so people will simply be able to go up and down like so, go side to side. It's going to be pretty cool. And we're going to have the NPC houses sort of either side going up. Great brick. Let's go ahead and do that. 20 of that, and that should make ourselves 80 of this. Alright, good stuff. Now I guess we could start filling things in. Alright, I know I'm doing this in a very strange order, but do you know what? It doesn't matter. It's all good. Alright, there we go. And let's do the same down here. Alright, so this is going to be like the central column going all the way up. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm very much looking forward to the finished product, as I imagine you guys are as well. I sure am. Look at this dynasty door. It looks so cool. There we go. Boom. That's a very cool looking door, isn't it? I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Look at these penguins over here. I may or may not have to capture them. <laughs> oh, little penguins. Uh, I wonder if I can... What if I can put them in like a cage or something? Oh, like my dinosaur out. Well, I'm a bit of a dum dum. Right, okay, going up. Let's continue upwards. Alright, all is good in the hood. Okay, alright, around here like so. This is going to be another room for an NPC. Okay, uh, hmm, I've just come up with a pretty cool idea. It's a pretty snazzy idea. I don't know, man, if I'm going to make this into a mage's tower, then I want to make it into a proper mage's tower, you know? I don't want to make this be like a half assed job. So I am going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to make sort of bits coming off the house type thing, if you get what I mean. Alright, there we go. Blue dynasty wall, white dynasty wall. I wonder what they look like. I'm actually tempted to see what they look like. Hold on a sec. Because I've, I've never seen the Dynasty Walls before. Wow. Do you know what? That actually looks kind of cool. Oh, man. Guys. <laughs> I'm going back on what I said already. I'm going to do something else. This looks so cool. These walls are awesome. Huh. I'm, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Okay, let's go ahead back over here. Uh, we do have to remember that we don't have an infinite supply of dynasty wood. Well, not until the uh, the old traveling merchant comes back into the game, which I imagine shall hopefully be soon. All right, so let's do this. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sort of little houses coming off here. All right. Okay. If you could, like, get out of my way, that would be absolutely fantastic. All right, good stuff. Okay, so... It's going to go like this, one, two, three, four, five. I guess the door should technically go here, right? There we go, that looks good to me. Okay, so that is one. Oh, I hate having to count all these things, it's so annoying. 
Okay. Alright, go over here. Oh boy. Oh boy. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking where this is going. I like it a lot. Right, okay. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wall? Yep, seems good to me. Let's go up here and let's go ahead and start placing the roof in. There we go, that's the roof in. And I guess I could kind of make it look like it's floating by doing this. Yeah, I don't know. That could potentially work. <laughs> Who knows, my friends? Who even knows? Alright, there we go. Another sticky out bit. I feel like I should make the top of it actually go to a point. I don't know. I think that might be a bit more, I don't know, wizardy, if you will. Get up there. Boom, boom. Yeah, that kind of looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks pretty damn awesome. Alright, let's do the same with this one over here. And we shall continue building ourselves upwards. At the very top, we're going to have ourselves a very, very large area. A very large area indeed. Alright, okay, boom. And come on. There we go, buddy. Come on, get in. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, this looks pretty cool, doesn't it? This is already starting to take shape. This is really freaking awesome. I may make some of these rooms maybe double tall. So instead of having all of these sort of uniform rooms to the side of them, what I could possibly do is just, I don't know, have like double tall rooms for some people. Some people will have bigger rooms than other ones. I don't know. I just think, again, trying to do something a bit different, I think that'll look pretty cool. Okay, and do that, and do that. Yeah, that works. Alright, now we need to start working on the main mage room itself. So, that's going to be pretty interesting, isn't it? But before we do that, I'm going to start working on the remainder... Wait, what? Grey brick, grey brick. Oh, you can make the walls back into bricks, that's what that is. I was like, wait, what the hell is going on? Why can't I make two sets of bricks? <laughs> I thought I hacked the game or something. <laughs> uh, right. How is this going to work? How how does a mage tower look? That is the question. If I do a big uppy part like that, and do that going all the way out there... I don't know, man. I'm trying to think of how a mage tower would look. It's pretty tall, isn't it? Let's be honest. Mage towers tend to be pretty tall. <laughs> Who the hell just broke some grass? That was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> I like that. I like it a lot. Right. Okay, there we go. All is good in the hood of Terraria. Up we go. Hmm. Alright, this is going to be a very, very tall room, isn't it? I can tell you that straight away. Okay, so we need to start going inwards, I guess. So we can continue the sort of gradient going upwards. Alright, okay. What if I just do sort of a, a flat-ish roof? Okay, I need to get in and then just quickly do that. Just grab the star, there we go. Ah, uh, what do you think, guys? Look at the map. Look at the map and go by that. Do you think this looks like a mage tower? Or at least the shaping of a mage tower, maybe? I kind of like it. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like it. Looks pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, let's go over here and do the same thing. Uh, just sort of burrow into the wall just a wee bit. There we go. Hey. <laughs> this is what? This is awesome. This is actually freaking awesome. Yay! I am very happy with this build, ladies and gentlemen. Very happy indeed, in fact. Right, okay. Now we've got a bunch of guys knocking at the door. We're going to need a lot of... Yeah, I'm going to need quite a heck of a lot more dynasty wood. But I guess in the meantime, we can start working on the rooms, maybe. Okay, let's go up here. And let's go ahead and start placing these stone slab walls in this room here. There we go. I know there's kind of a lot of wall things going on, but do you know what? It's, it's more of a case of me experimenting with the blocks of Terraria, just so I can see, just so I can get a feel of the, sort of, how they look. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm no b double Let's just keep going. Right. Alright, guys. I think we've gotten as far as we can go with this build, unfortunately. Which is kind of a shame. I, I, I should have bought some more Dynasty wood while I had the chance, but uh, I guess we can go ahead and, I don't know, wait for the Travelling Merchant to potentially spawn in again. I mean, that's really the only thing I can do, right? Because I need some more dynasty wood. A lot more of it, in fact. Maybe, I don't know, 500 more? Might do the job. In fact, no, probably more, because I want to do the dynasty furniture set as well. Hmm. Interesting. Right. You lot can die. There we go. 
We have a quick nature's gift. Do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do it. The thing I'm going to do, you guys probably know what I'm going to do by now. Let's do this. Let's chuck that in there. I'm going to grab a gold coin out. I'm going to buy some more mana potions from you, good sir. 13 more. And I'm going to go ahead and grab these out of here. And we are going to... Oh, hang on. That was a squeak. I apologize. We are going to attempt to take down the Eye of Cthulhu, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do that. We have seven defense to our name. I've... Uh, I feel like grabbing an iron skin potion would be a good idea. I have to be quick about this because I'm actually running out of time. Uh, iron skin. There we go. I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, nothing for mages, unfortunately. All right. Okay. The Eye of Cthulhu has awoken. We're going to fight him in our mage tower like a pro. All right, guys. This is going to be absolutely crazy. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Come on. Up you come, you big sissy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hitting twice each time. That's awesome. All right, 240 health. We should be able to do this pretty easily, actually. Come on. Now, obviously, the start... Yeah. The little eyeball things drop little mana stars. So, for the most part, we won't actually need our mana potions. That is awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that just fell all the way down. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> we have an epic battle going on inside of our mage tower. Dun, 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 Come on, I have to be quick about this because I am against the clock very much so. Come on. Wait. Oh, this thing's fully auto. I don't need to keep clicking. I didn't even know that. Oh, so some of them are fully auto and some of them aren't. All right. Oh, no. You went on the outside, you jerk bag. Come on. All right. How much damage is that? Uh, a reasonable amount. 17. Oh. Wait, what? What the hell? I thought the nature's good to support. Oh, no. You need the mana flower, don't you? Whoops. I was wrong. You need the blooming mana flower in order to automatically regenerate your mana. So I'm going to have to keep pressing J to get my things back. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, come on. 630 health. Another one. All right, luckily there's no cooldown for these. You just get slightly decreased uh, DPS for a little while. I'm going to have to go full Hamboni. Come on, come up here. Come on, come on. Oh, he's dead. Yes. Oh, thank God. Right, okay, let me just see what time of day it is. That, that, nah. I don't think I'll be able to get away with another fight, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> oh, epic fights in our mage tower. All right, guys, we have ourselves Demonite Ore. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have some more Demonite in here, actually. Oh, maybe not. Huh, interesting. Right, let's make the Demonite. Okay, really? Why You have to come in here, bro. Get out of here, you fool. Right, okay. Uh, Demonite, there we go. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Let's make that. There we go. Also, oh, large one. Huh, interesting. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, Fisher of Souls, 20%. That does 25%, so we don't need it. Right, okay. I think the other thing I wanted to do in this episode is I wanted to place this thing back down. My 100,000 subscriber monument thing. I did originally have it on the floor, as you guys may have seen in the 100k special, but I had a, uh, I had my intentions to move it up here, and that is exactly what we are going to do. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, and let's do this. And we are going to start placing these things in. It's going to be so cool. 100,000 subscriber monument. Awesome source. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, crap. That's not right. Boom. 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 This should be completely symmetrical. It is. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's the greatest thing that is. Just look at it. Little 100k subscriber monument. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Alright guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this session. I know we haven't exactly got this thing finished, but I really don't have a choice but to wait until the Travelling Merchant spawns in. And even then, there's only, you know, a small chance he's going to give us the Dynasty Wood, which we need. Maybe the Arcane Rune Walls, that'd be pretty cool as well. But it doesn't matter too much, my friends. We have got the basis of the build started. I'm very, very happy with the progress we made. We've taken down the Eye of Cthulhu, got ourselves a new axe, got ourselves the 100k monument thing there. And we're all pretty much good to go guys so yeah i want to thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy these episodes and of course if you're excited to see more be sure to hit that thumbs up button and of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out but that is going to wrap it up for me thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next episode